Good afternoon and welcome to our next session where we will hear from the National Committee for Quality Assurance. NCQA maintains the Healthcare Effectiveness Data and Information Set, HEDIS, which is a comprehensive set of quality measures to assess health plan quality performance. In this session, NCQA will present how they seek to leverage HEDIS to advance health equity through the development of new measures focused on social factors which can contribute to poor health outcomes. Our speaker, Dr. Adriana Nava, is a research scientist at the National Committee for Quality Assurance, where she serves as the scientific lead for the development of the social needs measure focused on social connection. She is also the president of the National Association of Hispanic Nurses, where she is an advocate for addressing health disparities through the advancement of nurses and leadership, research, and policy. Adriana, welcome, and the floor is yours. Great. Thank you so much for the warm introduction. Again, I'm Adriana Nava. I'm one of the research scientists within our performance measures group at NCQA, and I'm very delighted to be here to introduce our new measure concept, which is the social connection screening and intervention measure. And just for context, uh, this measure is a continuation of NCQA's health equity work, which is focused on the development of measures to address social needs. Next slide, please. At NCQA, we believe that high quality care is equitable care and have focused on creating measures that enhance population health and lead to healthcare improvements for all. We know that unmet social needs have a profound impact on the health of Americans and on our healthcare system. And to improve health, we must address those needs. And to do so most effectively, we should leverage the growing interoperability of healthcare data. In order to continue our work, on developing measures to address social needs. NCQA is proud to work with the Sync for Social Needs Coalition, which is a network of plans, systems, government agencies, and electronic health record vendors to help standardize sharing patient data screened for, collected, and integrated on social needs for topics such as food insecurity. We are also proud to scale this approach across more standard-based tools that lower the burden on clinicians as they look for ways to address a patient's social needs. Next slide, please. We know that to improve health equity, we must first be able to measure it. And this is where we leverage our HEDIS data set, which is one of the most widely used performance improvement tools. In fact, 191 million people are enrolled in plans that report HEDIS results. HEDIS includes more than 90 measures across six domains of care, which focus on the receipt of preventive services, managing chronic conditions, addressing behavioral health, coordinating care, and assessing the appropriateness of care. Our HEDIS performance data allows for the opportunity to identify room for improvement, monitor the success of quality improvement initiatives, and allows for comparison with other health plans. This data also allows for the identification of performance gaps and to establish a set of realistic targets for improvement. Next slide, please. As we expand our health equity work, we know that there has been increasing awareness that social determinants of health affect both physical and mental health outcomes. In fact, as much as 80% of a person's health can be determined by their social or economic conditions. Traditionally, we know the focus on healthcare measurement has focused on health behaviors and the delivery of healthcare, leading to the realization that healthcare is not equitable as socioeconomic and physical environment are currently not often measured. When healthcare is not equitable, we see that there's vast disparities in care that primarily impact underserved communities and communities of color. We are proud to share that on, on August 1st, NCQA recently released a new HEDIS measure for social needs screening and intervention, which addresses unmet food, housing, and transportation. This measure assesses the percentages of members who during the measurement period were screened for at least one for unmet food, housing, or transportation using a pre-specified instrument. And if an individual screened positive, they received a corresponding intervention. So this measure specifically has six indicators, 
one for each screening and intervention related to unmet food, housing, or transportation. Next slide, please. And as we focused on developing more of our social needs measures, focused specifically on social connection, we did an environmental scan, which highlighted the serious public health risk that the lack of social connection has on the adult population. About 25% of US adults age 18 or older reported that they sometimes rarely or never get the social and emotional support that they need. And much of this literature to support the lack of social connection in adults did focus on our older adult population. Poor social connection has been associated with poor health outcomes to include poor cognitive function, a risk of depression, and increased utilization of the healthcare system. We know over a person's life, the level of social connection may change based on acute individual circumstances or may be more chronic in nature. The current gap in the literature is related to determining the appropriate interventions to address social connection. We know that no national plan level measure exists, but there's initiatives at the state and national level that are currently underway to begin to address social connection. For example, social connection will be required for inclusion on standardized assessments for long-term care facilities and home health agencies through the CMS Quality Reporting Program. Through the literature, we saw that there was an opportunity for health plans to address social connection as they have the scale and resources to reach the older adult population and often have existing relationships with provider organizations. Next slide, please. So when we were doing our work on social needs, we used the gravity framework as a guide for our measure development process. The Gravity Project is a national public collaborative consisting of subject matter experts and a public-private governance committee that works together to design the right data standards for data sharing related to social determinants of health. There's currently 17 domains, but there's six listed here, which NCQA has focused on to date. And this includes addressing unmet food, housing, and transportation, which I mentioned earlier, and now our new focus on social connection. And by having these data standards available, Information related to social determinants of health supports the consistent use of this data across organizations, and we're better able to capture intervention activities that have been a challenge to capture before, such as referrals, counseling, and care coordination. Next slide, please. To measure social isolation and loneliness, our measure uses the umbrella term of social connection to address these three concepts of social isolation, loneliness, and inadequate social support. We know that loneliness and social connection are not interchangeable since individuals can be, feel isolated but not alone and vice versa. But we know that all three constructs are associated with negative health outcomes. Our current proposed measure assesses the percentage of individuals age 65 and older who during the measurement period were screened at least once for social isolation, loneliness, or inadequate social support using a pre-specified instrument. And if they were screened positive, they receive a corresponding intervention. The pre-specified instruments are aligned with the validated screening tools available by the Gravity Project. So in this measure, we have two indicators, one for screening and one for the intervention. The proposed measure will be reported by Medicare only using our electronic clinical data systems, which include electronic medical records and case management records, for example. We have proposed exclusions for individuals in hospice, as this is standard for all HEDIS measures, and plan to stratify by age of the older adult, 65 to 74, 75 to 84, and 85 and older, and also by race and ethnicity. Next slide, please. Currently, we are in the development phase of this measure on social connection, where we conducted an environmental scan, put together proposed draft measure specification, receive feedback from our advisory panels and are currently in our pilot testing phase. And in this pilot testing phase, we are currently recruiting health plans to provide data to inform and update our proposed measure. Our three main goals with testing include to stratify the initial population to gain additional insights, looking in, in addition to those 65 and older, those below 65, being able to map our screening to appropriate interventions for each of the three subdomains, and to determine a suitable intervention timing. Next slide, please. And we just wanted to share a brief timeline of where we are at. Currently in the fall of uh, 2022, we're in our measure testing phase, and we're gonna um, learn from insights from our pilot testing. 
And then in spring 2023, we plan to um, take this measure to public comment to obtain feedback. And then for summer 2023, we're looking to have this published in HEDIS for measurement year 2024. Next slide, please. And in closing, I just wanted to give a brief overview of uh, one of the Health Innovation Summit that we have planned. Uh, we invite you to join us at the summit that runs from October 31st to November 3rd. And we will be planning to go into more detail and about the measure spe specifications related to our social needs measures, both on unmet food, housing, and transportation, as well as our social connection measure. Next slide, please. And lastly, we'd like to acknowledge CMS for funding our efforts to expand quality measures related to social needs. But also, if you're interested in learning more about becoming a testing partner with us on our social connection measure, please feel free to reach out to me and my email address has been provided. Next slide, please. And I'd like to thank you uh, for your attention today. Thank you.